A South Bend funeral home will shut down in the near future. The attorney general's office says Clark O'Neill Funeral Home, that's on Lincoln Way West, hasn't paid its taxes. The WSBT 22 Fact Finder team is looking into this tonight. Suzanne Spencer is here with what we found. Suzanne. Rick, court documents show all of this started in 2002. Now the attorney general's office is involved, and the funeral home will only be allowed to honor outstanding funeral services, meaning those who already have funeral arrangements made, and they also aren't allowed to take any new clients. The owner of Clark and O'Neill Funeral Home, Julius O'Neill, was served the temporary restraining order today by the attorney general's office. The Department of Revenue alleges the funeral home did not pay $258,000 in sales tax, withholding taxes, and corporate income taxes for more than 11 years. When we knocked on the funeral home's door and the owner's home, no one answered. O'Neill did answer a few questions on the phone, saying the $258,000 sum that he owes is an estimate. He said his attorney will be working to get this resolved in the coming days. O'Neill's attorney did file a motion to set aside the temporary restraining order. In the meantime, the funeral home has three scheduled funerals this week and one pending funeral. Those will be honored, even though the funeral home does not have a license to operate in the state of Indiana, according to court documents. Those documents allege their certificate to operate expired in April of 2013. It's unclear if the funeral home has been collecting taxes during that time. A representative from the Department of Revenue told me the temporary restraining order is the last resort that they've really exhausted all other measures. So the, that really actually means they've made repeated attempts to try to do this, and this is kind of the last resort to pay that 258000 And Suzanne, all of this happened today. Where is the case going forward from here? There's a hearing next week scheduled where the judge will decide if the business will be, be able to even stay open or if it will be permanently closed. They're, now, they're also talking about um, making a list that they have to supply to the a Attorney General's office on what their current practices are and all outstanding business so they can make sure to keep track of that business. Okay, Suzanne, thank you. Indiana.